Last year, I started selling digital products and have been earning passive income from products I don't have to create every time I have a buyer. So if you've been looking for ways to start creating digital products and sell them online, how to digitalize your knowledge, your expertise and sell them to people from all over the world, this video is for you. I'll be sharing with you how you can get started for free with just four tools. Now, you know the trail. Like this video so it can reach a wider audience. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, what are you doing, fam? What are you doing? Okay, so why digital products and not physical products? One of the big advantage of digital products is their lower overhead cost. Unlike physical products, digital products don't require a lot of money to make or distribute. As I'm going to show you in this video, you don't need... I don't think you do. You can start doing this with zero dollar, zero naira. Unlike physical products, no investment cost, which means you get to make a lot of money from it. You get to make a lot of profit from it. Also, digital products can reach people from all around the world without any logistics cost, thanks to the internet. And automation helps as well. You don't have to do everything manually. This is going to be an entire video on its own. I will show you how it works. I know I have mentioned that you don't need any investment cost, no monetary investment, but your time, you will invest. Good thing is you just have to put in the time once. That's creating the actual product. So what kind of digital products can you sell? There's a lot out there from ebooks, templates, online courses, planners, journals, services like consulting, PDF guides, recipes, softwares, graphics, a lot. The key is to figure out what you like doing, what you're good at, and what's going to be valuable to your audience. This is very important. Whatsoever you decide to sell, it has to provide value. If you cannot figure that out at the moment, don't worry, I got you. This ebook contains hundred profitable prompts for high paying niches. Download it. I will leave the link in the description and maybe in the pinned comment. So this ebook is your first tool. Okay, now that you have your idea locked down already, you know the kind of digital products you want to create. Let's head over to the second tool that you'll be using to create the actual product. And that too is Canva. For the sake of this video, I'll be using this masterpiece I have created already. I've been working on for the past week. I have all the details ready. And what better way to introduce it to you than to use it for this tutorial. So let's head to Canva now and create our product. So once you sign up on Canva, if you don't have an account already, this is what your dashboard will look like. This is a pro account, but for a free account, you still have varieties of options to choose from. So once you're here, head to the search box and type in ebook or A4 ebook templates. Here we go. These are different templates you can choose from. Some are pro and some are free. The ones you see this tiny crown on, <laughs> they are for paid version. The ones you don't see anything is free. So you can choose from there. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using, um, I'll be using this one. Okay. Please, you know already, this is not a Canva tutorial. If you need a Canva tutorial, let me know and I will create a video on Canva alone. So I'm just going to, I'm going to keep this image. Yeah, I'm going to keep this image. I have my text written out, everything I want to use. I have them written down already in my Google Doc. So I'm just going to head there and copy everything and paste. All right. I don't like the font, so I want to change it to Abia. Mm. I want to change this to my brand color. 
now change this to white I think white is going to make it stand out or off-white let's see yep this is better then have this here what <laughs> let me experiment <laughs> oh my god I think I prefer it this way to the former so enjoy the music while I design this This might take a while, so I'm just going to work behind the scene. And when I'm done, you get to see the finished product. Okay, let's go off. I'll stop recording now. I am done with the design. Oh my God, it took me more than an hour. I forgot to time myself, but I know it took me more than an hour to design this so this is what we have let me view this in grid yeah this is what we have 15 pages i didn't know it was going to be this much <laughs> but it's okay all right the next thing we want to do is click on share click on download and select the file type choose pdf standard not png okay and download obviously researching and compiling these websites took me more time than we used in designing this ebook all right the next step after creating the ebook is to design your mock-up this will show the customer, the buyer, what the product looks like even before they buy it. You can use the first page of the ebook as your mock-up or you can create another, which is what we're going to be doing now. So let's head over to Canva again and design our mock-up. I'm just going to download the first page of this ebook. And to do that, you click on download, click on the pages, on select, <laughs> and then click on current page and download our next step is to head back to canva home page and type in lay flat mock-up <laughs> and all of these will pop up there are so many templates that you can choose from i will be using this one so once you find yours click on customize this template 
The next step is to upload the first page of the PDF of the ebook we downloaded. You click on upload files and it will take you to your computer files. And the next is just simple drag and drop. Drag and drop, drag and drop. Change the title of the page. Now the final step here is to download our design, our mockup. So you click on share, click on download. Remember you're downloading your mockup as PNG, not PDF. It's only the ebook you're downloading as PDF standard. Okay. Once you know the digital products you want to sell, you've designed your digital product, you've downloaded and uploaded it on Google Drive. The next thing you need to decide is where to sell your digital product. There are two options, online marketplaces or a self-hosted website. Marketplaces like Amazon, KDP, Etsy can get your product in front of big audience fast, but the competition is huge. And I don't think as a Nigerian, you can sell on Etsy. Personally, I use Seller for now, but you can use Gumroad, you can use Payhip. There are a lot of free options out there that you can opt for. Now let's upload our digital product on Seller. This is what the front end of your seller dashboard would look like. And this is what the back end would look like. So once you're here, you click on add products. On seller, you can sell physical products, digital products, tickets, subscriptions, service, courses, memberships. This video is not for seller. They did not sponsor it. Okay, so for the sake of this tutorial, we're here to sell digital products. So you click on next and it will bring you here where you fill in the details of your product. You upload the image, which is the first thing we're going to be doing now. Upload our image, our mock-up. Remember our mock-up we designed on Canva. We're going to upload our mock-up here. The next thing is the name of the product. Let's copy and paste. Yes, I'm lazy. I accept. Okay. All right, we'll just paste that here. And the next thing we want to decide is the pricing. When deciding on the pricing, you need to consider a lot of factors. For this particular digital product, I'm going to be selling it for $1,500. I'm going to be selling it for $2. I'm going to be selling it for £2. Okay, so you better rush it now because this is not the original price. Now, this is the original price. After a few weeks, this is going to go for $2,500. Four dollars and four pounds okay for your sake i'm leaving it at one thousand five hundred two pounds and two dollars this is an ebook that contains 69 websites remote websites remote job websites okay so take advantage of it all right the next thing i'm doing now is to put in the description of the product I'm not going to write much, just a few things. You can write all the details you want here, describing your digital product, but I'm not going to be doing that for this particular digital product. Okay, I'm just going to write down a few things and we move. All right, next we have categories and subcategories. So you're going to decide on which category your digital product fall into. Okay. Mine would be professional jobs and employment. Okay. Now the next feature is to decide if you want to upload a downloadable file or you want your customers to read online or you want to redirect them to an external website. I want this PDF to be handy, to be accessible to you. So I'm going to upload the PDF file for you to have it. I don't want to redirect you to an external website. I don't want you to read it online. I want you to have it physically. 
okay i want you to have it so i am uploading the pdf app okay so before you click create product you want to make sure that everything is in place and once you're convinced you click on create product voila our product is live let's check it out okay everything is fine click on the link copy the link and let's see what it looks like here we go this is our digital product it's sold for 1500 naira two dollars two pounds the link is in the comment and in the description before we sign out of here let's check out what it looks like on the dashboard okay here we go this is our new digital product okay so you've chosen your product you've designed your product you've set your product live on a marketplace the next thing you need to do is to promote the product the first tool was the ebook this ebook the second tool was canva the third seller the fourth is instagram or facebook or tiktok any of the social media platforms you are familiar with that is where you're going to be promoting your digital product if you don't promote your product, nobody will know about it. Nobody will buy. You will not get any sales. And you come back and say selling digital products is a scam. You need to put in the effort and promote your product. You can do this by yourself free. Or you can use paid ad on Instagram, Facebook to promote your product. Okay. The link to the 69 Remote Job Site Bank is in the description. Go get it. Go get it. Make sure you download it and have your remote job platforms handy, have it with you. But that doesn't mean I will not be creating videos anymore on remote jobs. I'll keep on researching and creating videos for you. I hope this video was helpful. And if you find this process too much for you, send me a message on WhatsApp and I will show you how to promote other people's products and get paid for it. 2024 is our year. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. -ya.